Okay, this is a short video on how to scale anything. I'm going to scale this picture of lightning to 30 minutes span to make it uh, roughly peanut size. So let's start by opening Inkscape. Okay, we start with an empty document and import the picture in. Just click through the defaults. Okay, so we have the picture in. Uh, let's zoom out. If you click control and use the scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out. So you zoom out, and so you have the picture of the lightning. Okay, so let's rotate it 90 degrees so it's easier to, for us to do the wingspan calculations. Okay, uh, first thing I do is I draw a box. Okay, uh, normally it's nice to give the box a nice uh, semi transparent color. Transparency can be controlled by this last bit here, uh, so it's uh, now it's half opaque. Uh, so now it's semi transparent, so you can see if you drag the box on the picture, you can see it's semi transparent. Okay, so now click on the box. Uh, if you look at the top of the screen here, you should see this uh, measurement thing. So what you can do is you can change this to inches. You can use any unit you want. Uh, you can change it on the fly and it doesn't affect any of your drawings. Uh, it just uh, recalculates all the measurements. So you see the X and Y location and the width and height. So the width is what we want. Change it to 13, click enter. So now this box is exactly 13 inches. So put it roughly on top of the image. Now click on the image. If you drag this arrow here, you will resize the image. The problem is if you drag this arrow, it will distort the image. right? So let's undo that. Right Now the trick is to click control and drag the arrow. Then it will scale the image proportionally. So now you drag this arrow and scale the image until the wing is inside the box. Roughly like that. Okay. Now zoom in, uh, check your scaling is correct. So this the wings now is a bit smaller than the box. You can scale it out a bit again, like that. Right, so the wings are roughly 13 inches. You can be as rough as you want or as accurate as you want. You can zoom in, you can really zoom in and uh, refine your scaling somewhat. But if you look here, the original drawing itself is not very high res so it's there's not much point in being super accurate maybe I just want to scale this out a bit All right okay so maybe that's it so that's good enough for me uh, delete the box or another thing you can do is uh, you can drag the box away okay so you see this uh, square here that's your printed area anything outside the printed area won't get printed uh, so you see the image is now is bigger than the square. This square is A4 size. So what we can do is we can resize the document. Go to document properties. Um, maybe say select A2. Now reposition the image. Right. So the image fits in the printed area. So now you have a peanut size drawing of a lightning. Uh, save the document. Uh, by default, Inkscape saves as SVG. Call it, uh, call it Lightning SVG. Uh, next time you open the SVG file, you can re-edit it in Inkscape. Uh, so this SVG file is editable in Inkscape. Uh, you want to print uh, accurately, you can export as PDF. Uh, do that by save as PDF. Uh, select the PDF format and then save. Uh, just click OK with the defaults and here you have a PDF file with the correct scale for the lightning. That's it.